In the beginning, high above comprehension, is the Word eternally. O oh, rich treasure, with a beginning eternally bore the beginning. O oh, paternal bosom, out of which in bliss the Word flowed forth eternally. Yet the womb still held fast to the Word truly. Of the two, one flowing forth, ember of love, binding both, known to both, so flows the sweetest spirit, in complete symmetry, inseparable. The three are one. Do you know what? No. It alone knows itself completely. The enmeshment of the three harbors deep terror. No reason has ever comprehended this circle. Here is a depth without bottom, check and mate, to time, to shapes, to space. The circle of mysteries is a source of everything. Its point of origin rests completely immutable in itself. Leave your doings and climb, in sight, the mountain of this point. The way leads you into a wondrous desert, which extends wide and immeasurably far. The desert knows neither time nor space. Its nature is unique. Never has a foot crossed the domain of the desert. Created reason has never attained it. It is, and yet no one knows what. It is here, there, far, near, deep, high, so that it is neither the one nor the other. Light, clear, completely dark, nameless, unknown, without beginning and also without end, it rests in itself, unveiled without disguise. Who knows what its dwelling is? Let him come forth and tell us of what shape it is. Become as a child, become deaf, become blind. Your own substance must become nothingness. Drive all substance, all nothingness far from you. Leave space, leave time. Eschew also all physical representation. Go without a way, the narrow footpath. Then you will succeed in finding the desert. O oh my soul, go out, let God in. Sink my entire being into God's nothingness. Sink into the bottomless flood. If I flee from you, you come to me. If I lose myself, I find you. O oh goodness extending over all being.